Hello everybody, this is Plan with Nairi and this is my colour block uh, planner and in this planner I kind of map out everything I'm going to do for social media. So the challenge has been actually as a decorative planner to enjoy doing some decorative on this type of spread. And I've had a couple of bashes at this but I'm going to show you one today that I think is probably going to work quite well. I've used the wax paper and show you how to make it interesting enough as a functional spread for somebody who likes decorative planning so here we go now first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some washi tape because that's going to liven it up um, I think the danger with the washi tape though is perhaps only to use washi tape but I'm not going to do that so I saw these lovely butterflies and um, I just thought they were a little bit more kind of fall type looking and then I've got this nice pink washi to edge it. So that's where I'm going to go first of all, just to kind of get a nice bit of decorating in there. Now I kind of see myself as somewhere between a functional and a decorative planner, but if I'm honest, I'm probably a bit more decorative than functional. But this cannot be, this cannot be a fully decorative spread, it's impossible. There's not enough space to do it. But, so I've taken this, plain box here and put a lovely little quote on top so I thought that will also enhance the sidebar I'll show you guys what books I've used in a minute just get this nice and straight straight is where we're going with this because wonky is not very decorative or very functional okay let's try again So if you've not found me before, I use lots of different types of planners, so vertical, dashboard, uh, pretty much every style of planner, and I've been experimenting quite a lot on all of them actually. The channel's about five months old, so please subscribe if you've not found me before. Okay, so that's a good start, I think. Now, this is the main book I've used for my stickers. This was just a black and white functional sticker book. And then I've used the Papillion, the new Papillion sticker book as well. I'm going to, this is an overlap here, okay. Now on a Monday, we have the grandchildren in the morning. So for me, this is easy. I don't need to write out everything on a Monday morning. So that's one place where I can put a decorative, but still, still have the functional. So there's, that's two boxes there, two different boxes overlaid. All right, so that's a good start. Now, at the bottom, so that I don't overwork myself, which is a massive fault, even though I'm retired, I'm gonna put note to self, so that in the evening, this does not become another time slot. So I use these as time slots. So say I get going at 9.30, then I might finish at say seven o'clock in the evening, but I might take some afternoons off, some mornings off. So it's not all the way through the day, but different days are different kind of situations for me. So now you might not like this idea, but I'm actually gonna cover those dates. And that's because week on week, social media planning is similar for me, but I know what these dates are. and I'd rather have the decoration here. So I'm actually gonna cover those dates with my butterflies because I think I'm going to prefer that look. I think the washi really enhances kind of the spread. I'm not going to cover the days though. I kind of need the days there. All right, there we go. Now, so these little butterflies were for, from the papillion. I'm just going to edge that there like so, just to make it look pretty. Now, I could use many different pens for this spread. So I think I'm gonna use my new, these, I don't know what they are, Pigma Micron. I'll put them in the description below if you're interested. They are lovely to write with, quite formal, but I think that's gonna work well on this particular spread. So I'm obviously gonna keep decorating, but I just want to show you how I do this or break days up so let's take Wednesday for example so I'd have a a 9.30 slot probably 
an 11 o'clock slot, a 1, a 3 and a 5. Obviously I'm going to take lunch breaks in between but it's just so that I can roughly work out what I need to do at those times. Okay and that's what it would be for all the other days as well but I'm not going to fill that in now because that's not really so exciting when you're watching decorating or trying to watch decorating. So then I have another overlap here. Now on the Wednesday I sometimes see my mum so probably what I would do is okay so I'm going to have to write over that now that I've done it on the Wednesday but if we say that I'm probably going to see her in the afternoon so I'm going to pop that there like so again those last two stickers there one decorative but the good thing about putting the function on top is that if you really do, do need that slot if I do need that slot I can reinvent that slot using that functional box there kind of get where I'm going with this so note to self it's going to go down the bottom here I do have another um, spread colour block filmed for you um, and then I practice another one on my own. It's not the easiest thing when you're used to having like verticals where you've got loads of decorating space. But if you need time slots and you want to see how to decorate, I'm just giving you a few ideas here. So weekend plans. Probably will put some notes in the weekend, but again, Okay, so if you don't use wax paper, um, I, I really think that is very handy if you are not that confident or you're moving into a different type of planner and you're just not really sure about how it's going to go, then I definitely would say to use wax paper to kind of semi lay out your layout. It doesn't have to be exact, but you can pull the stickers that you think you're going to use and it will be just so much easier for you. I'm just going to use that little bit of tape there a little bit of tape there spice it up a little bit okay I've got a big black sorry I've got a big black butterfly here I'll pick up on the black put that one there and then I think I just go across the top like I did with the other bit so apologies if it's a bit samey but I'm just going to go across the Papillion sticker book has some lovely butterflies but they normally include different colours from what I was looking for so just picked that one out but um, other than that it was these gold ones okay so on a Friday I often go out with my husband for say the afternoon and so if I'm thinking that this is the one o'clock slot here it would be from there so and put that in there one o'clock slot like so there's this golden butterfly maybe put it say there try not to take too much of this slot and then this one I think that could go there because I can still write in those sections. If you have time to still stop by, I might just go and write in the um, time slots because I'm going to, as soon as this video is ended, I'm going to actually write in what I'm going to be doing every day for the different planners I have and have two channels as well. So I'm going to be in where I'm doing my adoption videos which is my other channel if you're interested in adoption I'm not saying you are but 
there is another channel for you to look at called Adoption with Nairi. That for me that is not needed. I think sometimes you've got to be brutal with yourself, haven't you? Alright. That could go on there. Right, it's like a dream. Let's get those time slots in so that I don't make mistakes when it comes to writing and what I'm doing every day. You say, take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? It was me every night When I close my eyes I see So guys, that's my layout for my social media planner using those time slots but also trying to make a decorative spread so that's my way of doing um, a functional and decorative spread hope you've enjoyed that if you have please um, subscribe check out my channel and see all the different types of planning that I do with happy planners 